Hello everyone and welcome to S3 Bubble. In this video we're going to quickly go through how to add multiple CloudFront distributions um, that can only access specific geo regions. Okay, so we're we'll talking about geo restrictions. Um, and we're going to be adding these to different buckets. So this you might have certain content that you um, cannot show in certain countries, and this is why you might use this setup, okay? So we've got a CloudFront dish well, we've got two CloudFront distributions associated with our delivery bucket. If you look at our workflow tutorial on the home page, it will show you how to do the workflow correctly. Now let's say we want to set up another CloudFront distribution to only distribute our content to um, one country, okay, a certain country. So what we can do is we can come along here and we'll create a CloudFront distribution. Okay, so you just have to give this a couple of seconds while it goes off and it creates the distribution. So I'm just going to wait here now because this is important um, how you update your bucket policy. Okay, now what, what it's done here is it's created the CloudFront distribution. Now it's going to ask us if we want to update the bucket policy, okay? Now we don't want to do this if you're adding multiple distributions because it's going to update the bucket policy with just this um, ARN, ARN code, um, with just this policy basically. Sorry, I don't think it's ARN code. Um, so what we need to do is you need to take the statement for this specific CloudFront distribution, okay? Copy it. And then what we're going to do is if you go back to actions and then go to open bucket permissions in AWS, if we take a look at the bucket policy. Now what we need to do is we need to append our statement okay, to the bucket policy. So as you can see, we've got one that's acti accessing this CloudFront distribution, and one that's accessing this CloudFront distribution, and then one that's accessing this CloudFront distribution. So you can see we've got three CloudFront distributions all associated with one bucket. So just to reiterate, if we'd updated the policy, it would have we would have lost the first two, and it would have just updated and overwritten just with the one. So just make sure you're doing that if you're going to be doing multiple geo restrictions. You can click save. Okay, now that's done. Now what we can do is if we go head over to delivery, take a look at our cloud for distributions. Now what we can do is the one we've just created here. Okay, we can now go in, and we can start to add geo restrictions. Okay, so we can either blacklist or whitelist. So let's say we just want to show this in um, Canada. Okay, now we can create. Okay, so that's successfully updated our CloudFront distribution, and you'll start to see what geo restrictions have been um, whitelisted here. Okay, so that's how you set it up. Now, one thing I suppose I should quickly um, go over in this tutorial. Obviously, nothing's going to work while these are being deployed. If we go to our storage bucket and we wanted to encode one of our videos into HLS specifically for that geo region then what we can do is we go to media convert now you could add in any of the settings you want here we'll be doing HLS uh, we could burn in captions uh, DRM but the main thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be outputting it to our delivery bucket okay and then here's where we select the distribution so you can see these two are in progress but this one as you can see we've got a little notification here that's just for Canada okay now these have no restrictions no restrictions so let's create our player and it's going to be specifically aimed at Canada so when we create our player and we go through create job to yes Okay, so when we put this player onto our website, we could run some logic um, as we're loading the website to say if it's in Canada, just show this one. Um, and then this player is only going to show content from Canada. Okay, so I hope that helps. Any questions, drop us an email, on, drop us an email at support at s3bubble.com. Thanks.